Hey team, and welcome back to the Radical Rundown. As you know, my name is Brian Buckosh, core design engineer for Brunswick Bowling, and today we have the two newest asymmetrical pearls from Radical Bowling here. They are the Katana Assault and the Innovator. The Innovator is a Mo Heritage Series ball, and it is an advancement of the 3D offset technology that was in the original 3D hammer offset from 1997. And we saw that technology again in the original Black Reax and the Reax Pearl, that was one of the first balls that was out in the pro performance category or the top shelf category for Radical when Mo Pinnell came on board. Now I don't have the original Black Reax core with me, but I do have this new Innovator core and you can very readily see the offset technology where the band is kind of elliptical. It makes a D shape where the area of the thumb is out and the back is basically shaved off. From the top down, it looks like it has a little bit of a D shape to it. This gives it the asymmetry, but also keeps it fairly symmetrical and round in the front. So you have properties of both balls in a sense. Now if you see on the screen, the original Black Reax had these similar properties as well, but it had a bigger midsection and much smaller caps. You could call this a 2.0 version of the original 3D offset. Here we have the Innovator, which has advanced this technology once again, and it's brought in some of the technology that some of the other Radical cores have, and we're gonna talk about it here. Right here you've got the Innovator core that has the big massive band that you see on a lot of these Radical cores. As we know, drilling into the side of this core is going to increase the intermediate differential. Even though this ball starts with only a little bit of intermediate differential, it's going to blow up to as much as 023 with the sharpest layout when you put your thumb into this band. Because this top cap is smaller than this bottom cap, it kind of acts like the caps that you've seen or the scoops that you've seen in the other cores in the Radical brand, where the smaller cap is going to miss the fingers so that when you drill into it, most of the integrity of this core is going to be maintained. You're not going to hit as much of this top cap with your fingers when you drill into it as you might if the cap was the size of the bottom one here. So combined, this means that you're going to maintain the differential because the core is going to remain tall after you drill into it, and you're going to increase the post-drilled intermediate differential when you drill your thumb into the side of the core. Both of these combined are going to give you a very statically dynamic ball after drilling. Now, of course, here I have the Katana Assault, the other shiny asymmetrical ball that's currently in the Radical lineup. This ball is much more asymmetrical. So when you look at these cores from the top down, this one still has kind of a round oval shaped property to it, where this one from, from the intermediate to the max axis is a lot more elliptical. The core is a lot more stretched in the intermediate axis, meaning it's going to have more intermediate diff before you drill it at about 020. And post drilling, when you put your thumb through the front of this core, it's going to blow up the intermediate diff even more because it's much closer to the shell of the ball than this band is here. After drilling, this ball can go up to 23 intermediate diff, whereas the Katana Assault can go up to about 030. What that means for you is that this ball is a little more round benchmark shape that's also aided by the lower RG of 2477, and this one with a 2501 RG and a higher intermediate differential is going to push down the lane and rev up a little later and back end a little bit sharper. The Innovator might be a little more suited for more moderate launch angles and maybe fresher patterns where you want to see it read the mid lane a little more securely and blend off the back of the lane with a hard charging but not necessarily sharp back end motion. And the Katana Assault is going to be great for opening up your launch angles, maybe in breakdown or maybe on more friction overall, where you can send the ball away from the pocket, see it read the mid lane later and give you a much more abrupt back end motion and it's going to give you the maximum entry angle through the pins. So both of these together, despite the fact that they're both asymmetrical pearls, can be a great one-two punch. So that's the rundown on these two asymmetrical cores in the Radical lineup. If you have any questions about these two cores, or any core in the Radical lineup, feel free to drop a comment on the original video below, either on YouTube or Facebook. While you're here, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and Facebook pages, Radical Bowling, and make sure you join our discussion on the fan page at Radical Bowling on Facebook.